Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara's at work. And in this video, we are going to talk about spider codes and talk about my favorite one out of all these or what I think is the best one out of all of these and why. And we're going to go through some of them, but we're going to narrow it down pretty quick because we're going to be left with what, what I already know is my favorite. So some of these are not mine. Uh, most of them are. Let's get into it. So we have the little McBee. This one is not going to be my favorite out of all of them. It's just not as capable as the rest. I do have a video on it, though, if you want to check it out. It is a cool little utility knife. And then I have a few Mannixes up here. So let me just start getting rid of them and narrow it down to one. So this one is not mine. This one is in brass and CPM M4. And as much as I love M4, um, this one's not mine. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't pick the one in brass personally, even though, man, this thing has an amazing feel to it from the weight. I actually really much enjoy it. Um, and the sound it has. Then we have the Manix Lightweight. Um, even though I do love the steel on um, both of, you know, the last one and this one, I do have my own in titanium with the titanium cage. Mine does have S30V, and even though I would prefer these steels on mine, I don't have it, but I'm going to keep mine because I do prefer the titanium scales over the rust. I don't mind that little extra weight that I get from it, um, and because you know in return i do get a lot more strength but that being said i do love this lightweight version this is such an awesome knife um yeah i can't express that enough how awesome these lightweight uh manixes are and i am not an frn fan i just want to say that right now but i do love this knife so now that we're narrowing it down now next up i'm going to take out the native five i do like this knife a lot and i really like Spyderco's S90V. And I'll, I'll say this. I do think Spyderco does a great job with their steels. I'm always impressed when I sharpen and use their steels. How good they do with their steels. Um, and this S90V is, you know, is just the same. It's, um, yeah, it's sharpened up so great, so good. This is just such a useful knife, too. And I've showed this in a video where... I, when I'm working or when I'm at work and I'm using my knife, I like to be able to um, close my knife up with one hand and quick. Now, I know I, you just see me do it all one handed. It's not that big of a deal. But to me, sometimes the quicker, the better, or it just makes things easier. Like I'm moving something, I make a cut, I can get my knife out of the way and then use this hand. Even if I keep the knife in my hand, I can still use this hand uh, you know, again and again, over and over. And if I do need to hurry it up, make my cut, then put this back in my pocket and get back with this hand, I can do it quickly. Um, and then if I need to get back to my knife, I can do it quickly. And this is just not a quick knife. This is a slower knife. It's not going to be your funnest action, even though it's not, I mean, it's still easy to manipulate, but it, it's just, it's never been one to be known to have amazing action. Um, I do love this carbon fiber though. Well done, carbon fiber. All right, next up. Now, this one I'm going to get rid of because it is discontinued. Uh, this is not my knife. I do like this knife a lot. And I know it had a bad reputation from the beginning because of, I guess it, it was, I guess they did a it badly at first but then the second run came out and they fixed all the issues the first one had and man this thing is finely tuned this is man have i been saying their names i think i've been saying their names this is the spider co gail bradley advocate and you have three forms of deployment and all three work very good um and that's awesome that they got that detent so finely tuned that the flipper and the reverse flick both work very good. I love the ergos on this thing. I think this is a great knife. And I wish they wouldn't have discontinued it. I'll say this. This is another Gail Bradley. If this one had this blade shape on it, this one could possibly be the winner today. But it is discontinued. And yeah, let's get to the next one. Oh yeah, this is titanium and M4. Gail Bradley loves to use M4. Let's get to the next one. So next one I'm going to, 
Okay, so I love, let me just say, I love all these knives, first of all. All these knives I love. So the Techno 2, as much as I love the sound, the feeling, how smooth this knife is, the build quality, this is just an amazing, amazing knife. There's one thing that kind of takes this, well, two things that take it off the list. One, this clip in the hand, it's just horrible. It's so bad in the hand. I would love to see a large version of this. If they made a large version of this, sold. I mean, I, I love it. But it is a compact little version. And as useful as this knife is, and I do think it's a very useful knife, and I enjoy it very much, um, the Ergos being such a small compact knife, and the fact that they put the clip back here like this, it just hits me right in that bone when I hold it, no matter what I do. I even try to manipulate it where... I basically, I have to wind up using it like this because using it in any kind of grip like this, it just doesn't work out. Another reason is that it is thick behind the edge. This is, um, it's not even that crazy of a thick blade stock, but the geometry is not there. It's not thin behind the edge. The taper from the spine to the edge, it, it's very, it's very subtle. So, you know, I just, I wish they would have made it a hollow grind or at least just thinned it out a little bit, especially for a small knife like this. This, you know, you can call, the grind, a hard use grind, but the size and everything else doesn't fit the bill for a hard use. Now, this one is in CTS XHP. Love that steel, love this knife, but it just can't be number one. Next up, um, I would almost compare these, or I wouldn't compare these two, but um, I'm going to compare them in this video right now. So, this one has such a slicing grind this thing is made to cut and it makes sense it's a small little package that that you don't want a thick grind kind of like how the the techno 2 over there you, you want something small like this to pass through materials very easily because it's not going to give you the best ergos in the world because of its you know small small you know it's so small but you still can get a four finger grip and have a little blade and this thing is going to be very very capable now since it is a backlock it's not going to have the best action in the world but you can still get the flick out um, but because of the same reason before with uh, the back lock, it's not going to be my number one pick, even though this is a great, great EDC knife because of how slicey it is. Now this one, um, it doesn't have the grind that this one has, which I wish it did, um, but <clears throat> this is a great knife. I love the Brower. This, oh, I'm sorry. This is the Spyderco Chaparral in CTS XHP. And this one is the Brower, the Spyderco Brower in CPM S30V. Now, this one does not have the grind, like I said, like the other one did, the Chaparral, but it's a very useful little EDC knife. And if all you're looking for is just a little, you know, EDC knife, then this is right up your alley. I mean, this is a great, great knife. I love this knife. It's a titanium frame lock. It does have the steel lock bar insert, as you can see super duper smooth the action is very easy to manipulate i do like this one a lot the reverse flick it is a little tight in there but for me it doesn't it feels very easy i mean i have no problems reverse flicking it and uh the thumb flick is probably the most preferred method because it's so easy to get to but yeah great great knife but just can't be number one and then there were six okay i love all i love all the knives that were on the table uh, these ones, obviously, I love possible. It's not even that I love more than the other. I'm coming at this from uh, a user aspect of one that I would want to carry and use, not just one I love and adore or, you know, one I want as a backup. I mean, if we were talking backup knives right now, fifth pocket knives, I obviously wouldn't be picking these. So, you know, whatever you're choosing, it's got to kind of be, you know, um a choice you're making for that knife to fit so let's get into it so now the yo jumbo the spider Co. yo jumbo they do make the yo jimbo which is a smaller version of this it's more of a pm2 size and you can see there's a big difference there in size this is not a small knife at all the spider Co. yo jumbo 
is a massive knife, but it just works so good. Um, I love cutting with this thing. The tip, you can easily penetrate. I mean, it was made for self-defense, but you can easily penetrate in the middle of something and then continue your cut down you know like say if you were gonna cut the middle of cardboard um the the utility cuts are amazing with this thing the tip is so fine deep hollow grind and i love spider co when they do their hollow grind they do them so good they make them nice and deep nice and thin behind the edge and even though this one does have a nice thick blade stock it just gets so thin um by the edge and for the hollow so if this thing has a lot of life in that hollow there's a lot of sharpening that's going to come out of this and because of how big it is you can do repeat cuts so fast and i love it for that reason but it is a big knife so you know it's not going to be something that like say if i'm in the post office right this isn't going to be something i'm going to want to take out and you know box up my stuff and cut my tape with even though i would don't get me wrong you can bet your ass i would but you know it just it is a little more threatening and a little big for some uses now if i'm gonna go work on the, the job site or something yeah no problem but you know it is I feel like I could get a lot of the uses out of this that I could get from a little bit smaller of a knife. Also, this G10 is super grippy, almost like an Emerson. So, man, it, it's it really locks in. And with the compression lock, it is very smooth. I do really like this knife. This one's an S30V. I forgot to say that. Next up. Okay, so first of all, I love the Manix lock love the manix lock i find it to be one of the most useful locks it's ambidextrous it's very easy to use i have two of them up here one of them's got to go so it would have to i'd have to choose between either the big one or the small one now this is the one i did choose to put the scales on so you would think that this would be the one i'd pick and it might be but this is the one i honestly if i was gonna have to choose between which one to cut my like if i was gonna have to break down some cardboard right now i would pick this one it just has a little bit more reach i have a little bit more cutting length the ergos are just you know it's not that they're that much better but they are a little bit more palm filling and you really get a lot of leverage behind your cut um however it is a you know same thing kind of like the yo jumbo it is a big knife it's you know it possibly is a little bit bigger than what i need even though i just said that i would possibly rather cut with it but if i wouldn't necessarily need to i would just prefer it so i know we're talking about preference right now I would have to say I would pick the regular one over the, the large one, even though, man, I, I'll tell you what, I really, really love this knife, and I do think it works really good, and I would possibly change my mind on what I just said in a week. Before we go any farther, I do want to talk about the PM2 really quick, because I am thinking about doing some upgrades on it. I was thinking about getting some hardware. I thought about getting some titanium scales, but I think I'm going to enjoy the micarta scales for right now. I know they're a little dirty. I need to clean them up. I have been using sharpening and doing stuff with this. I did put a nice, beautiful edge on this K390. This K390 steel is so far really, really nice. I'm really liking um, the bite that it has, even from a polished edge. Now, I'm thinking about doing purple hardware. I thought about blue at first um, because I do love the the blue hardware look. I think it just looks really good on a knife, and I think it would look really good on this knife. But then I thought purple. Purple sounds really nice to me. Um, I don't have many purple knives, but it'd be really cool. Now, I was looking at a couple different ones. I found um, some on Etsy, but then when I zoomed in, it just didn't look like that great quality. So, you know, I've seen some people that get the hardware from Etsy or online, and then they talk about how flimsy the clip is, and, you know, it just doesn't stand up to, like, say, Flytanium's clips or some of the other clips out there. So, um, I was curious if any of you have tried any of their hardware or possibly of this specific hardware. If so, let me know down in the comments comments but i'm kind of i'm kind of worried about buying it now another one i didn't like the finish i thought it looked good from afar but then as i did the close-up it doesn't look like it's anodized it looked like it's, it looks like it's painted 
<clears throat> Same thing with the other one, kind of, too. So I am looking at different versions, and I am willing to spend a couple dollars or more to get the, the good hardware. I don't want a clip, though, that's going to rise up too high right here and then be uncomfortable in the hand. You know, I still want it to be nice and comfortable in the hand, so I am looking for a clip that's not too high when it loops over right here, but I do want a deep carry clip. Um, but I am checking out different hardware, and... Yeah, hopefully I will be getting some of that here pretty soon. And then maybe in the future I'll get some tie scales. But as of right now, I'm going to enjoy the micarta with the purple hardware if I can get my hands on some good hardware. Now let's get back into this. Now, I know there's possibly, there's some Spydercos out there that I have not tried. I have not tried the Kapara. Um, I have tried the Smock. I've tried many Spider Co's, and as of right now, these are probably my favorites. But I do not have, you know, there's a lot I haven't tried. I did try the Chef, so the Chef would be in this list too. I don't own one, so I can't say if I would choose it or not. Um, ugh, this is so difficult. Okay, so for this reason only, I let me just say this. Let me just say this. If I was boiling down to blade shape and cutting performance and all of that. This is what I would pick. Right now, just throw the rest of them out. This thing cuts better than all of these, and I love the way this thing feels in the hand. The ergos are just so good. You have such a neutral grip where you can do push cuts, pull cuts, you know, just however you, you want to cut. It just has such good neutral ergos. Like even the Manix, you know, like, yeah, it's still okay to do pull cuts, but it's never going to be as comfortable as this in a pull cut. And even though it does feel comfortable in the hand, and I do like the ergos a lot, having this neutral grip is, I love it. I love this neutral grip, but they did do one massive fail on this thing, and it's that liner. I did have to mod this. Now, considering that I modded it, um, I love it, love it, love it, love it. But before I did mod it, um, this it just it knocked it down so many pegs for me because the liner was so hard to get to. Now I am a stickler for lock bar access. I love good lock bar access. I don't want to fumble around if I'm on a ladder up 30 feet high trying to cut something with my damn liner lock or whatever, or even if I'm on the ground, I don't want to fumble and try to manipulate and find the lock. I, I want to be able to easily get to it and close it. Now that I did make the cutout, it is a lot better. It's very easy to get to, but I did have to do that. Next thing is the detent. The detent on this is very light. Uh, straight from a user aspect, I would probably pick this for cutting performance, but for opening and closing and you know, putting in and out of the pocket and stuff like that. I mean, it's still very easy, so it's hard for me to make this choice. But oh, it's hard for me to make this choice. Oh, let me just set it down for a second. Um. Okay, so there can only be one compression lock on the table. Let me narrow this down. Man, I love both of these knives. They're both just great, and the, the ergos of... The Shaman are just so much better than the PM2. But the, I do like cutting performance better on the PM2 than I do the Shaman. I, do, I don't mind a little bit harder use of a knife, but um, I'm realistic. You know, I'm not pretending to, to do things that I'm not doing. Um, I'm, I'm not pretending like... I mean, I have pry bars thinner than this that I pry, you know, two by fours with. I mean, this, at some point, do I really need that, like, that thick? And I, I love a hard use, don't get me wrong. Strength is everything to me in many, many ways. But cutting performance is even more important. Oh, man, this is tough. I almost want to just end it right here and say, oh, this is my top four. Okay, let me just say there are things of each knife that I love more about one than the other. So, like, this one's ten thousandths behind the edge. Favorite blade shape. Love the blade shape. Love the grind. Love the cutting performance. This one, love the lock. This is my favorite lock out of all these locks. Love the ball lock and 
this is just a great knife all around this one i love the ergo so the leverage you get from this and just the way it feels in the hand i love how tough it is uh, I don't, you know, I, I just, I love this knife, period. And then this one, I love the steel. I love the K390. And, you know, I'm just beginning to really use it. Now, the knife is great in itself, too. I love the PM2. The PM2 is a great knife. I love how easy the compression lock is. I don't like that I'm not good with it left-handed, though. Like, I, I'm very finicky with it left-handed. I almost do it like that when I really need to close it. Like, if I'm on a ladder and I have to use it left-handed, I do it like that. But I still can operate it. But right-handed, though, which is the majority of my cutting, you know, I, I just, yeah, great knife all the way around. But I love these and for all different reasons. Um, man. I do want to say I am going to keep doing upgrades on these four knives um like this one i gotta do a new pivot um i'm gonna get a clip and uh, i want to get new hardware and clip for this one and i already talked about this one but let's sum it up right now with my favorite one out of these four at the moment favorite one to use for cutting for just use all around is this one i love the ergos love the way it feels in the hand such a neutral grip super thin is just a joy to use as a knife because of the locking mechanism and i just love the way it works i would pick the manix too i just love how this thing feels in the hand i think it's very comfortable in the hand even more comfortable than the pm2 and i just love this ball lock even more than a compression lock don't get me wrong i love a compression lock and i love the pm2 i love all these knives but man this ball lock i just i wish they could use it more on a few more models man can you imagine a ball lock on a gail bradley like this Woo! Woo! all right guys i love you guys peace